for Robert Miller. And when we left the Alps after a rest day at Alpe d'Huez, it was a flatter route between Villard de Lente and Saint Etienne. But the riders weren't out of the woods yet. There were plenty of surprises still to come before Paris. The scenery around France is beautiful, but the riders rarely ever look at it. From the mountains to the pasture of the fields, the corn now is quite ripe. In the north it wasn't ready, that was two weeks ago. A puncture to Zimmerman could see his prize taken away, but on this occasion it was routine, he was back in the race. And Bernard Eno, still chasing yellow, is also chasing a new competition, the King of the Mountains. But for one rider, Gerrit Zollerfeld of the Netherlands, he had no further worries. With five days to go, he was the winner in the sprint competition. He was too far ahead. But the day itself belonged to a Spaniard, Julian Garospe. Four and a half hours in the saddle. And this will be a great result for Garospe because this is the capital of the cycle industry and he rides for the Reynolds team. And so Garospe comes home an average speed there just below 25 miles an hour for today's stage. That is absolutely amazing. And you can tell it's told on the Julien Garros Bay. The final time trial and Le Mans still doesn't trust Eno. He's attacked me from the beginning of the Tour de France. He's never helped me once and I, I don't feel confident at all uh, with him. So. so Greg Le Mans with hard things to say. What's going through the mind of the Badger now? He's never beaten in these time trials. He knows he can still win the Tour de France. You know, you never know what can happen. I can crash flat. So I, I feel really strong. I don't think there should be any problem. At the start of the test, Eno is 2 minutes and 43 seconds behind Greg LeMond. It's not an impossible gap for him. He's done it before, and he's won the Tour by it. Well, he regards this as his own terrain because he's a specialist, having won all the big time trialling events uh, that can be won, he knows won them all, and he regards this as his kind of race, and uh, he doesn't like to be beaten at all, although he admitted last year that he was very pleased that Greg LeMond had beaten him, but uh, I think deep down uh, he was a bit upset, and he wants to, uh, he wants to go out of uh, his career with a, in a big way, so I think he'll be looking for a big win in this time trial today. And Bernard Eno is very rarely beaten in a time trial, and today he was going to make sure it was no exception. He started three minutes behind Er Zimmerman. The time to beat, an hour, 17 and 37 seconds. So Zimmerman comes up now, and he's going to do a time outside that of Garros Bay. But remember that Eno started three minutes behind him. And this is going to put Eno with a time of one hour, 15 minutes and 35 seconds. And that is an absolutely superb time. An average speed of 46 kilometers an hour. And that is a marvelous average speed when you see that mountain and he's gone and done a ride of almost 28 miles an hour. So Eno is home and dry with a time of 1 hour, 15 minutes and 34 seconds. He knocks Garosti back into third place, and that, I think, is where he'll finish now, but we want to see exactly what Greg LeMond can do. LeMond is still some three minutes behind Eno on the road, and so I wonder now if Greg is going to come in with a time almost equal to Eno. And into this right-hand bend, watch carefully. Le Mans goes down. He either misjudges the corner or, as some people said, his bike had been sabotaged. Nobody really believed that, but Le Mans did say his brakes were loose. And at the finish line, there were plenty of accusations. The concern was evident. change and this amazing tour had produced another surprise but Le Monde wasn't finished yet. Le Monde has hardly conceded an inch in this Tour de France. Bernard Eno will undoubtedly be extremely upset and I think he must now concede he cannot win this Tour de France. Le Monde has simply proved himself to be just too strong uh, for the Badger. 1-16-0-1 that's good enough for second place and again emphasizing the great Le Mans and Bernard Eno are the two top riders in this year's Tour de France.